what's good with y'all man so guys listen man listen so we gonna let's dive right into this guys we gonna talk about what you don't do right this is you, you do this if you don't want to get the draws essentially right because I'm gonna tell you something. This video is actually motivated and sponsored by a guy I had a consultation with, man. And you know, here's my thing. I'm helping out any guy that, you know, comes to me with a situation. I'm gonna guide you through it. And this guy actually wanted me to make a video on, hey, you know, some of the mistakes he made, you know, here and there. And, uh, you know, obviously not putting no information out there. It's not what I do. But what I'm gonna tell you guys is straight up, you do this kind of stuff, you are asking to not get the draws. And, and it's it's astounding to me that guys make so many mistakes and they think that it's a good, you know, things that they think is a good thing. And they'll, they'll do it unwillingly or willingly and or willingly. You know, some of y'all just voluntarily finesse yourself out of some draws. I'm like, well, what's going on with you? You couldn't tell that that wasn't a sign that she wasn't going to give it up at the end of the day or the night or later or that you were friend zone. So we're going to discuss all this stuff, guys. But before we get into this, man, follow me on IG. Check the link in the description, turn on notifications, man. Let's get into this, guys. So, you know, I, number one, guys, I hate to see my guys losing. When I talk to this guy, I'm sitting here like, bruh, you know, he's telling me a story. I'm like, oh, come on, dog. Like every time he, he, he hinted at something. So, you know, it's certain points that I got to make here. Guys, the more time that you spend out with this girl, right, on this date or wherever you're at. Number one, guys, keep this in mind. You need to look at logistics. So, you know, with this particular guy, how many times have you guys comment in the conversation this happened to you where you've had a girl, you know, willingly want to meet you out? And matter of fact, this girl actually told him, she said, where do you stay at? We will go somewhere close to by where you stay at. Bruh, if this wasn't a freaking, this was a layup. And he smoked that bit. This is a wide open layup. OK, you you guys got to lay this stuff up, right? This man was like, oh, well, I'm not familiar with the area. And, you know, where do you want to meet up at? Guys, you don't ask them questions. You don't want to put the ball in their court. You keep it in your court. You keep the power with you. She literally relinquished. See, she, she set you up. She's like, here the ball. Wide open line. Go ahead and drive to the hole. Literally, you're driving to the hole, bro. It's a female. You're driving to the hole. He wanted to play it nice. Guys, anytime you're playing it nice, you're going to lose. Anytime you play it nice and safe, no risk. If you don't risk it, guess what? The reward is going to follow up with that risk. So if you're not risking nothing, chances are you're playing it safe. You're playing it nice. You're not playing to win. You know, I mentioned that in my other video. And guess what? Your reward is going to be that same level of, you know, that same volume that you, the effort that you put in, that nice and that, you know, that, that, that safe, that's what you're going to get back. And that concludes that no draws. So this man want to sit here, put a question towards her. Guys, you never put a question back on the chick as to location, right? Um, the time and all this stuff. Don't really do, like let her kind of unfold, but you, you guide it in the direction, make statements, Guided in the direction. This man gonna sit here and come, but she literally gave him the layup. She, he gonna sit here and come back with a, oh well, you know, I don't know where and what's where do you feel comfortable if that's okay with you? If, if I hear some guy say if that's okay, if y'all send me some text messages, I'll tell y'all something. <laughs> I'm famous for burning capes. I got the flamethrower, the, the 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 lighter on deck for that. But but listen, like number one, guys, if you come at me and you showing me messages that you send to a chick, right? And you say, in any of your vocabulary, if that is okay with you, you are finessing yourself out of some draws, straight up. And you didn't even have to say much. All you had to say was, if that's okay with you. You never say that to a chick. You gave her all the power to just deny you, this plausible deniability that you guys are so comfortable with giving to these girls is causing you to get finesse out of some draws. And it's literally that simple. Like, like there has there doesn't have to be no more, no less than that. That's why you want to keep, you know, that's why I tell you guys, keep things short, concise to the point. Get your point across, mean what you say, and that's it, bro. Don't be trying to do all that extra stuff with it. Especially not over text. 
So that was the, the first mistake I think he made. She gave him the layup and he missed. So guys, if you smoking layups and the chick, like, like really just figure out, this is what I'm telling you. To solve this issue, this is what you do. Remember that when you're talking to this girl, before you even ask her out, before y'all get into all that stuff, what do you want to do with her? Remember that goal. Because that's the end result that you want. You want to smash, right? Okay, you want to clap them cheeks. I know, you want her to bounce attack while you're sitting down, right? You want her to throw that thing back on you in a circle, reverse and all that, and counterclockwise, clockwise. Yes, on the tip, right? We all want that, of course. Well, guess what? If that's your goal, you have to paradigm from step one of you, you know, approaching her, asking her, whatever you choose to do, you have to paradigm every step towards that goal. That's what that is. So you can't start off with, if that's okay with you, like guys, don't pitter patter, don't pussyfoot around them because they will see it, they will smell it, they will hear the hesitation and they're just gonna flake on you. They're gonna flake on you or they're gonna use you, which ended up happening to this guy. So next point guys, let's say you finally get out with it, right? You're at the location, preferably close to where you stay or she stays at so you can, preferably close to where you stay at so you have control over what's going on and you can easily segue to my crib right hopefully you prepared it whatever before so you don't gotta you know stress and have that in the back of your mind a lot of you guys don't prepare beforehand but i digress anyways let's say everything's favorable you get out with this girl all right everything's cool now we're talking conversation this guy was bragging about how his conversation lasted hours he said that he picked a comfortable seat she picked a stool that was very uncomfortable for her, but he didn't care. I was like, hey, shout out to you, bro. You chose what's comfortable for you. You wouldn't care if she was breaking her back, sitting down for hours, listening to you talk. All right, great. You know, that's what's up. At least you made a, a firm decision on that. At least you can make a firm decision on that. Cool, brother. But here's the thing. He's gonna sit here and brag about, you know, she was so interested in my conversation for hours and hours. Like we, we sat there and talked about things as far as family goes. And then, you know, went into beliefs and then went into joking. Like she was laughing a lot. Like guys, I made a, made a comment, you know, I, I made a, I, I put out a bar on my freaking stop caring. She starts chasing video. And that was y'all out here trying to make pussy laugh. I'm trying to make it cry, right? That's straight up. That's straight up facts. You want to make it laugh. You want to be an entertainer, a little jokester. You do what you do. You're going to finesse yourself out of some draws. You do that, you're most likely not going to get draws. It doesn't mean to say girls don't like a guy that can't make them laugh. That's not the point, bro. You coming out the gate trying to make them laugh and trying to be her jester. That's what you're going to be. You're going to be seen as a fan, right? So don't lead with that stuff. He's sitting here bragging about how he had him laughing and like, kick, 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 and blah. Oh my gosh, you're so fun. Listen, that's not going towards your end goal, fellas. If you have trouble with this, cut it off. Do not sit here and want to talk for hours. You need to, you don't want to sit here and be talking and let her uncover this stuff about you. You want to remain as mysterious as possible, right? And, and as aloof as possible, as smooth as possible, as far as you escalating from your location to where you need to be at to bust down them booty cheeks. All right. So you, you want to keep like, like, guys, don't 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 brag about having such a great conversation and really connecting. And it's like, bro, this is a first date. You're at a coffee shop. Like, like, guys, don't don't. First off, don't go on the first date at the coffee. Shop. Like, what, what is this? What is this stuff that y'all be coming up with? Some of y'all. I know I know I'm a little harsh being a little harsh right now. But, you know, as I've said, you know, I'm an advocate for you guys. But at the same time, got to kick in your butt sometimes. Pause. So like really just like really key in on these things, guys, because there's so many things that happen. And I'm like, bro, like, you know, you wanted me to make a video on this. I'm going to do that for you, bro. Keep you anonymous and everything. That's great. But, you know, I, I still know there's other guys that deal with this stuff. And it's new guys coming in all the time that deal with things that they don't understand. Or maybe it's just that you go through this process with these girls. You don't even realize that you're making these little slight mistakes that might end up messing you up because you could be attractive. You can have great conversation and, and keep it to the point and all this stuff. And you, you dress nice and you got whatever you got assets too, but you still can't close with women. Well, sometimes it's just because you're trying to do too much. You're trying too hard. This guy was trying extra hard and to the point where he was walking down the street with her, right? It's the last thing I'm going to say. This is the last thing I'm going to say. And it's very important. 
walking down the street. Now, y'all need to understand that. Y'all need to understand that, you know, there are clear cut signs when a girl is just like ready to go somewhere, like to your crib and get down to business. So he's walking with her. She's sitting here looking at him. They're walking around the block. He's telling me they're walking around the block of her place at this point in time. And she knows, and, and they just keep circling around the block talking because he wanted to talk more. Stop talking. Stop talking. All you had to do was say, let's go back to your place. They're walking around the block of the place. Anyways, she's sitting here holding him close, staring him deep in his eyes, submissive look like, like, to, like the, and I'm imagining it's the look where she just wants to get down on her knees and submit completely, you know, her throat. And y'all know what I mean by that. When a girl is giving you that look, you're close to her place. She's staring deep in your eyes, you know, all this stuff and just so excited. And oh, and then she tells the dude, oh, well, you know, I just oh, my gosh, I'm just, you know, so, so intrigued by your by the conversation and blah. I'm so into you right now. I can't look away. Told him something like this. Right. And, I, and I'm like, bro, so you kept circling the block. He's like, yeah, we had a great conversation. I thought I was building it. You ain't building nothing but building yourself out of some coochie. Right. You're, you're building yourself out of some draws. So anytime, guys, you get these signs, you know what I'm saying? You see the signs of this girl, and, and, and that's just that, that's that inner, you know, freak want to get released. You need to take her back to her crib or your crib and do what it do. Don't beat around the bush, fellas. That's what I really got to say. Don't beat around the bush. Don't waste time. Capitalize. Play to win, guys. Play for yourself. To win. <laughs> not her, not conversation. And she wanted to win, too. She ended up you know, friend zoning dude, because he didn't capitalize. He did not capitalize. And they will do that. If they give you so many chances and you don't capitalize, they'll friend zone you, unfortunately, bro. So guys, just be better next time. Turn them L's into dubs. Let's go. Mm -hmm.